The title of my message today is Defining Moments. Defining Moments. And, and can you look back on your life and pinpoint those defining moments um, that really made you, that shaped you, that, that molded you into the man or woman that you are today? I can look back on my life and see really defining moments that really changed the course of my life. And I look back, I was fortunate enough to grow up in a Christian home where I was, you know, was taken to church as a kid and um, was in kids' church and youth group. And I remember as a young child, even five or six years old, and accepting Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Let me tell you, that's the most important decision that you'll ever make in your entire life. It changed my life. It was a defining moment in my life. And then I remember the decision... Uh, when I was, I don't know, six or seven, to play competitive hockey. And that moment changed my life. There are so many, you know, experiences that I had um, as a young boy, as a teenager, um, that really shifted who I was. And then I remember when I was 13 years old, I went to a youth camp. I was filled and baptized in the Holy Spirit and spoke in tongues. Let me tell you, that changed the trajectory of my life. And then when I was 18... I moved out of, my home, out of my house and moved to the east coast of Canada to play hockey. It's a, it was a defining moment that I could look back. And then when I was 21, when I quit playing hockey and gave up my dream of playing professional hockey to, to, to follow the calling and leading of, of the Holy Spirit, there's moments um, in our life that we can look back and they were defining moments. And then again, when I was 21, I rededicated my life. I'd been running from God for several years, and I rededicated my life to the Lord. Defining moments, you can look back and you can pinpoint like, man, that, that changed my life. And you can look back in time and see, yep, that, that was a big one. Although we don't always see that on this side. Sometimes these decisions that we make, they, they might seem kind of small or insignificant, kind of like don't even realize it sometimes, but other times there are these moments where you know, like, okay, this is, this is a big one. This is going to, you know, change my life. Like, this is going to take me one way or it's going to take me another way. That my future will forever be altered based upon this decision. So, these defining moments in our life, we're going to take a look at a man who had such a moment. His name was Moses. He had this really defining moment with the Lord. And I want to give you a little bit of a backstory just so you kind of understand who Moses was and, and where we are, where we're going to pick up this story. You see, Moses was born at a time where the Israelites were slaves, all right? They'd been slaves um, under Egypt. Um, the Egyptians taken them slaves. They, they were scared of them. They were, saw them growing in number. And, and, and so they decided like, hey, at any moment, these slaves could, the, the, these Israelite people, sorry, could take over um, the, our kingdom. We don't want that. So they enslaved them. And, and so they were, you know, they, they were, um, you know, in bondage, in captivity. And, and then even uh, while they were enslaved, Pharaoh was kind of getting nervous because he, he saw how large they were growing in number and getting stronger. So Pharaoh decided, well, we need to put an end to them having baby boys. And so he ordered that all the young boys um, be killed. And so it was in this time where Moses was, was born. Moses was born and, and actually put him in a basket and, and sent him down the Nile River because she didn't want him killed. Well, just downstream, actually it was Pharaoh's daughter who was bathing and saw a little baby Moses in a basket. And the Bible tells the story of how she picked Moses up and raised Moses as her own. So Moses, he gets older, and, he, and he's raised in the palace. Remember, it's Pharaoh's daughter who, who raises Moses. He's, he's raised in the, in, the, in the palace, even though he's a Hebrew, even though he's an Israelite. He, he, and then he kind of sees his fellow Israelites being beaten, and, and his heart is just breaking for, for his people. And, and so one day, there's this slave master who's just beating one of these Israelites, and Moses just can't take it anymore. He's like, enough is enough, and he, and he runs out, and... He actually kills this Egyptian slave master who's beating one, an Israelite. And Moses re kind of realizes what he's done, and he's kind of getting nervous. Pharaoh finds out that, about it, and so Moses flees Egypt. He runs. Pharaoh's, you know, he wants, he wants Moses dead. So he runs, he flees, and he goes to a town called Midian. 
And it's here in Midian where Moses meets his wife, he has children, and all is going great. Then Moses has one of these life-defining moments. Everything was easy. Everything was, you know, just kind of comfortable for Moses. <laughs> you know, you kind of realize and kind of know, look back in your life where things are kind of nice and comfortable. And then it's like, man, you have one of these moments and God's like, oh, I've got something that I need you to do. And usually, nine times out of ten, it creates some discomfort in your life. Well, this is what is about to happen to Moses, to Moses, this moment is, is forever going to change the course of Moses' nice, simple, comfortable life. 